Where God Likes to Be is a story of family, culture, and identity on a Blackfeet reservation. My grandpa was here once. My great, 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 great grandpa was here once. I walked through this very spot. Three young Native Americans are at a crossroads. Will they stay on the reservation or leave for school and other opportunities? Kids have more opportunities now than our parents or our grandparents ever did. If I have that opportunity to like go to college, this is like the best time that I can, you know? I mean, if it's in front of me, I might as well just do it. Browning is the center of the Blackfeet Reservation. It's the biggest city there. When you say Native American, a lot of people say either like culturally very rich and they, you know, dance and have ceremonies and are very spiritual, or that there's a lot of substance abuse and poverty. We're very isolated from a lot of other towns. It takes hours in a car just to get from there to here, here to there. There's not as much to do in Browning. It's usually just go over to my friend's house where they just kind of smoke weed and get high all the time. I think it was more like establishing a relationship where we said to our subjects, you know, this is yours as much as it is ours. We said to them, you can tell us what is important to you. It kind of became a communal thing. I want to learn my language. I want to be represented as something positive. Our relationship with everybody has grown and blossomed and we're still very much in contact with everybody that's helped us on this film. People that live on reservations said to us like, wow, this is a really positive film and thank you for showing the reservation in this light. I come from a reservation and I'm proud of that. And people that didn't live on reservations ever came up to us and said, oh my God, it's really depressing. I can't leave here. It's too hard. These places are as complex as any other, right. any other society, any, any other cultural group. These d diverse cultures in America need to be supported and they need to be cherished, you know, because it's, it's a beautiful And they're still very capacity. much there. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is where I'm happy. If I leave here, I won't be happy. 